St. Paul Elementary School. Can you believe it? We've made it all the way to episode 10 of Mr. Underwood's videos. I guess that's an accomplishment. Eh? Eh? Eh. Anyway, let's see what today is. It's National Chocolate Covered Cashews Day. That's a really good day unless you're allergic to chocolate or cashews. It's also Kindergarten Day, where you can reminisce and think about your first day of kindergarten. Remember how terrifying it was? Not really, because you went to St. Paul. It wasn't terrifying at all. We love you. It's also Bulldogs Are Beautiful Day. Okay. It's also Big Word Day. Like this big word. Pneumono ultra microscopic silico volcano Well, anyway, it's a lung disease, and that's much easier to say. Who comes up with these 45 letter words anyway? Geesh. Yeah, let's skip big word day. What else is it? Well, it's National Tea Day. Hello, Governor. Thank you for the tea. <coughs> what else is it? Um, oh, here it is. It is World Creativity and Innovation Day. So, I decided to be very creative today. I found some blocks that Liam has, and of course he's too young for them. So, I got real creative. Since he can't play with them, I did what anybody would do. <laughs> I made a sword. <laughs> real creative. I, I think it's cool. Well, what else is World Creative Day about? Well, I have an idea. Let's combine creativity with tea. National Tea Day meets World Creativity Day. Ooh. What could we do? What could we do? For today's art project, you can use a pencil, You can also use a paintbrush and paint if you choose. A marker might also be helpful. It's your choice. We're definitely going to need a straw. And of course, just a sheet of paper. Take tea or coffee and put some in the straw. Spread it all around. You don't have to be careful. You don't have to think about it. Just go with it. Go with the flow. It doesn't have to resemble anything or look like anything you know. The creativity is going to come after it dries. So now that it's dried a little bit, what does it look like to you? I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to start tracing some of the T lines. The creativity happens when you start to see a pattern or something you recognize as you trace. Is it a wheel? Maybe. You know what I think it looks like? Oh, see if you can tell.
I bet you've guessed it by now. Yep, it kind of looks like a spider web to me. And the T looks like the shadow cast by the web. That's how creativity works. You don't have to overthink it. You don't have to think really hard. You don't have to be the best artist. You just go with what you've got. And whatever happens, happens. That's art. Yeah, even spiders need to eat. Okay, here's one that I did earlier. I used the same method with a straw and I let it drip down the page a little bit. Then I turned it upside down. Now I'm gonna use a different method this time. I'm not gonna use a marker. I'm gonna use something called India ink. It's really just a really deep black ink. I'm gonna use a paintbrush and I'm gonna start tracing the tea that has dried on the paper. Do you have any guesses what you think it is? Hmm, I'm not for sure, and I'm not thinking about what it is. All I'm doing is following the line the T has made on the paper. I'm just using the India ink to follow the T lines on the paper. Wherever the tea has flowed is where I'm putting the India ink. You don't have to use paint for this. You can use a pencil, you can use a marker, you could use watercolors. That's part of the creativity process. What do you want to use? I think it looks like a thistle bush. Maybe it's a flower. It really doesn't matter what it is right now. What matters is I just follow the process. Follow where the tea has been on the paper. I think it's starting to look like fire. Hmm. Perhaps it's a flame from a match. If you accidentally make a mistake, there really are no mistakes. Go with whatever happens. And there it is, um, whatever it is. Perhaps it is a flame, maybe it's a bush, 
Oh, let's turn the paper and see if we can see something different. Oh, look at that. I think now it looks just like a fish. Yep, a fish. That was unexpected, but absolutely the coolest thing. That's creativity and that's art. Well, that was probably a lot better than what I was going to do. I was going to show you how to take and make a best friend on World Creativity Day. You see, he's, 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 he's a spoon with eyes and a smiley mouth. And he's my friend. Don't judge. We're in quarantine, remember? I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope that you've learned that you don't have to do anything really explosive to be creative. You can use tea, coffee, anything like that. Just let it flow. Go with it. Whatever happens, happens. That's what creativity is. Most great artists and poets start with a little idea and they let it blossom into something that becomes beautiful. And sometimes it's not even recognizable with their original idea. It grows. It becomes something new. That's okay. That's what you want to do. Remember the fish. It wasn't a bush. It wasn't fire. Or was it? Ah, huh? see? Interpretation. That's up to you. I hope you've enjoyed today. And I hope I see you tomorrow. Because tomorrow is episode 1 and 1, 11. And it's a very, very special episode. It's one of the days that's very dear to my heart. It's a special day. See if you can figure it out if you haven't already. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Get a good night's rest. Love you all. Bye.